Hello, good day everyone. Uh, for this video, we are going to continue the discussion of business analytics and data analytics. Uh, still in chapter 2, but we are now on VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and LOOKUP. So let's get started. So VLOOKUP uh, is an, uh, a function in Excel under the lookup value table array column index true or false um, format uh, this is also available in google sheets no. so in this um, short discussion video we are going to sh um, cover vlookup first and then understand what is the importance of a v vlookup so in benefits of a vlookup H lookup and lookup is that you can search for data both vertically, horizontally, allows you uh, to find information left to right, right to left. Uh, it's simple, does not require selecting the entire table, and it's easy to audit using the F2 command. Okay, so to better understand this, uh, I'm going to show you or demonstrate the VLOOKUP in an, uh, a sample database. So let me just pull up, uh, end this uh, presentation and then show you this, okay? So this is an example of um, as a mini database done in an Excel sheet with an application of VLOOKUP. So here you will see, let me just maximize it a little bit more. You can see that um, I have created a sample database or maliit na database. Here I have uh, information of my customer. What's his name or her name? Uh, what was the payment method used? What was the transaction code? How was it ordered? Was it through web or email? Uh, what's the amount? Um, what was the product ordered? Let me expand this a little bit. Yan. And then what time of the day? So, it might look simple, but um, the, let me show you the beauty of doing a VLOOKUP. So here, you can see that I have a customer and the customer ID is 1008 and then it shows Scott Hall's information. So forgive me, I just made up some names here from um, Wrestling and uh, Marvel. You know. But uh, nevertheless, uh, 1008 Scott Hall. So you can see that this is his information, right? Pareho dun sa nasa taas. So using VLOOKUP, I can actually look up Kaya nga from the term itself, a V, vertical lookup. I can actually um, locate anyone just by using the customer ID. So let's say, inilagay ko dito ay 1001. I placed 1001 here. Enter. You can see that the information changed into Liv Tyler. What was the payment method used? What was the transaction code? Source, amount product and then time of the day all right so very easy you know what if uh, let's say you have a customer no this is uh let's say imagine you are in a store and then someone inquired um i would like to get um my past transaction the information for my past transaction and then you ask okay what's your customer number sabi niya sa okay my customer number is 1,013. 1,013. So, tinype mo, and then you press enter. Okay, I'm speaking to Tony Stark. Your last um, order um, was uh, on 10.19 p.m. yesterday. You used the credit card for 1,200 pesos you order the Netflix access uh, online. 
Okay, so imagine ano, ang ganda nitong kayang gawin ng VLOOKUP and imagine if let's say you have thousands and thousands of information, it's uh, going to be hard if hahanapin mo siya individually. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack but thanks to VLOOKUP, it would be easier for you to locate information once you have the database. Okay? So, the question now is, how do we create a VLOOKUP? Paano ba natin siya itatype? So, let's go to this. And then you can see that I have the formula already here. I'm going to erase it. And then, susubukan natin gawin yung VLOOKUP uh, from scratch. Okay? So, let me just expand this. Okay, so as all four formulas start, we have equal sign, and then we look up. It says right here that we look up looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns the same amount, a row, from a column you specify by default. The table must be sorted in an ascending order. So, yan yung definition of we look up. After typing we look up, open parenthesis. And then it says right here, lookup value. Okay, lookup value daw yung una mong hanapin. So in our case, this is our um, sheet. Asaan yung lookup value? Where is the lookup value? If you would remember, I am typing the customer ID here, right? Kanina, this is where I placed the different customer IDs and then lumalabas yung information dito. So this is my lookup value. Okay, all I need to do is just click this cell. Yeah, notice it's blinking. And then it says this is A3. Tama naman, ano? We are in a column A, row 3. Okay, column A, row 3. So, we look up. This is our lookup value. And then, sabi dito, separator, comma, sign. If I'm done, I just need to put in comma, sign. And then, I have the table array. Okay, table array. So, table array pertains to the range. Okay, nasaan yung range natin? So, our range starts here. Okay, and then you highlight it all the way down. Ano? So, ang ginawa ko, dinala ko siya sa pinakababa at rightmost. Kaya, you would see that um, what I have here is A6 colon H83. Yun yung covered na range ng ating database. And then, all I have to do is click comma ulit kasi I'm done with the range. And then, column index number. Okay, column index number uh, means where is where col which column are you in right now saan column ba tayo this is column 1 and this is column 2 so we are in column 2 so i'll just type in 2 comma uh, sorry close parenthesis and then we are done okay so let's try to see if tama ba yung lalabas 1008 is cut hole tama Subukan natin palitan. Gawin natin 1,009. Tama ba? Kevin Nash? Yes, tama. Or gawin natin um, 1,005. 1,005. Alexa Bliss. Okay, so it's updating. Ano? So it means that the formula is now updating. Now naturally, what you would probably do is idadrag mo siya pa kanan. Tama ba? So... Before I do that, let me just show you ano bang mangyayari no? if I would drag this right away, right most. So, subukan ko i-drag siya pa kanan. What happened? Nagkaroon ng NA. So, there was an error with the formula. Bakit? Ano bang problema? So, let's check the formula, no? 
So, I'm going to go here sa payment and then highlight natin yung formula. Ano ba nangyari? So, what happened is that when we move the formula, gumalaw din yung range ko. So, instead of A6, nag-start siya ng B6. At if you would notice, ayan, no, meron siyang extra space dito. Gumalaw yung formula ko. So, pag kumari, pumunta naman ako ng amount. Ano nangyari? Gumalaw, oh. Naging, nag-start siya from E6 hanggang L83. So, the problem now is that if you would drag the formula right away, gug gagalaw din yung, for yung range mo. No? And that's not what we want to happen. Hindi yun yung gusto nating mangyari. Gusto natin, stay lang siya sa A3, uh, A6 to H83. So, ano yung gagawin natin? What should we do in order to lock or ensure that the range does not move? Now, let me introduce you to the dollar sign. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Ano? Lalagyan ko siya ng dollar sign. So, dollar sign acts as a lock no? para malock siya in its place. No? Maglalock yung range natin, hindi siya gagalaw. So, here, what I will do is, I'll just put in dollar A, dollar 3, dollar A, dollar 6, dollar H, dollar 83. So, basically, what I'm doing is, sinandwich ko lang siya into dollar signs. And then, when I press enter, wala naman nagbabago, no? But, the change happens is, when I drag this formula now, and then nakita nyo na nagpalit yung mga pangalan, ano? kasi tama yung range. Tama yung mga ranges natin, but the error is yung column. Kasi nakita mo, puro to yung column number. Ano? So, ang gagawin ko na lang now is I will change the column number into whichever column I'm at. Like for now, I'm in payment. So, this is column 3. Right? And this is column 4. And this is column 5, uh, column 6, column uh, 7, and then column 8. So, yan, magtataka kayo. Oh, paano yan, sir? Bakit naka-time of day? Ang babaguhin nyo lang po dyan is format, change it to time. So, it's 3.21 p.m. Okay? So, notice that when I lock the formulas to, with the dollar signs at saka ko siya dirinag, I retained my range. And ang pinalitan ko na lang is the column index number. So, if I would change this, let's say 1,015. Um, 1,015 is... Uh, Bruce Banner. Okay? Kunwari, gusto ko Thanos, no? 1,019. Right? Thanos. So, nagpalit siya. Okay, so, ayan, ano? The VLOOKUP, very simple, very helpful, and one of the key um, functions in Excel and Google Sheet that you must know. So, your assignment is, I, I will be sending you a blank uh sheet and then you would have to type in the VLOOKUP formulas in row 3. Okay? So, yan. I hope you understood this lesson and uh, thank you so much and until our next video, to God be all the glory.